Everywhere the altar has spoken death, I speak life. Everywhere the altar has spoken poverty, I speak increase. Everywhere the altar has spoken curses, be blessed. Everywhere the altar has spoken delay, I declare go forward. In the name of Jesus. Those speakings of the altars come to end now. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let a new altar speak righteousness. Speak favor. Speak blessings. Speak advancement. Speak restoration. Speak increase. Speak new levels. Speak advancement. Speak multiplication. In the name of Jesus. Everywhere the altar has spoken death, I speak life. Everywhere the altar has spoken poverty, I speak increase. Everywhere the altar has spoken curses, be blessed. Everywhere the altar has spoken delay, I declare go forward. In the name of Jesus. Everywhere you have been stagnated in life and destiny, as a result of this prophetic declaration, let your wilderness become a fruitful field. Let your wilderness become a fruitful field and let your fruitful field become a forest. In the name of Jesus. Someone shout it, say, I am free. One more time, say, I am free. For the last time, say, I am free. Hear me. Everything that has covered your glory so that you are covered Nothing about you can be seen. Makadosh Kadia, Embrekete Seketa, by the power that raised Christ from the dead. I tear that veil right now. Hear me. Where your physical father cost you, I stand by priesthood to bless you. Anyone by your physical descent, who said it will not be well with you? I stand by the privilege of the apostolic call. I reverse that statement. 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 Anyone who said it will not be well with you, in the name of Jesus, by the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic, I veto that statement and I cancel it. Limitations that came from your biological father, biological mother, or your physical territory, I stand by the honor and the privilege of the apostolic and the prophetic. I break you from it now. Help them, please. I break you from it now. I break you from it now. I break you from it now. Every spirit that makes easy things difficult. You saw this with your father. You saw this with your mother. You saw this with your siblings. Sincerely, you have not been able to break through. In the name of Jesus, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. And I declare in the name of Jesus, I push you to the next season of destiny. Help that man, please. In the name of Jesus Christ. The kind of honor and favor you have never seen this week may god bring this as a witness to your life what you have been looking for i command it to start looking for you ah, ah, ah hear this one what you have been looking for may it start looking for you in the name of jesus christ every confusion in your life may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now Everyone who is discouraged and downcast, you are wondering what will become of your life. I want to speak to you. In the name of Jesus, you will have the last laugh in this life. 
anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death I declare may death pass over you may death pass over you you are blessed in the city you are blessed in the country you are blessed in Abuja blessed in Lagos blessed in America blessed in UK all over Europe all over Africa return as a sign and a wonder return as a testament of God's favor in the name of Jesus everywhere your finance is for this season can I pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing in the name of Jesus anyone who is in a financial situation now I give you one month by prophecy may the God of all grace bring you out of it now every family that has not risen you have not seen the hand of God the testimony of God helping men from your father to your mother to your siblings to you every one of you in concert receives strange testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus the gift that the Lord has put within you I stir it up by the anointing and I declare may it bring you profiting 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 your enemies will not see your back your enemies will not see your face their plans will end as vanity but as for you the Lord is your lifter he will lift your head he will give you speed no delay no retrogression go forward go forward go forward advance progress in destiny strategic relationships be open doors of strategic finances be open the treasures of darkness the hidden riches of secret places be open doors of career be open doors of destiny help us be open in the name of Jesus someone shout open shout open shout open shout open listen to me please don't be distracted something is happening in this place look at me every city you see has gates in the spirit and doors in the spirit just because you are there does not mean the gates are open now you see if you grew up in the north or you have had encounters with the north you will know that when you are entering most of the northern states you will see like city gates am i right on that sometimes there are no doors until you pass that most of the people believe that you have not entered that city you will see maybe welcome to Kano or welcome to whatever those gates it was an ancient principle there are many people who are in Abuja here but in the spirit you are not yet in Abuja so you cannot eat of that which belongs to those who are here are you ready for gates to open and doors to open listen I have seen territories where the inhabitants never eat of the blessings of the land it is only strangers that eat of it I have seen families where the children never eat of the blessings of the land it is strangers that eat of it we are going to pray that prayer there's an anointing on these open doors open God has opened some doors in my life as a person and as a man of God and I know the benefit 10 years can be compressed in one month under an open door I am telling you are you ready to pray say father shout it say father in the name of Jesus strategic doors in this season that I must enter I declare them open now open your mouth and begin to pray I declare them open everyone pray be serious online pray US pray Canada pray Kenya pray South Africa pray Ghana pray Lagos pray every door strategic doors relational doors financial doors spiritual doors Oh. 
Cabrega Baga Barakatash, Lega Prateka Barakatos, Cabrandeka Baka Barakatos. Take a minute to pray. All doors open in this season. All doors open in this season. Open of your own accord. Open unto me. Open for a new season. Open for greater influence. Open for greater kingdom impact. All doors open. Strategic doors open. Relational doors open. In Jesus name we pray. In Jesus name we pray. Be seated for one minute. Be seated for one minute. My God, fire is burning in this place. Be seated in this place. This testimony of open doors, you will see how many people will come and stand here. Yeah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you what happens when a door opens. There is no restraint again. An open door means access to the next level. All the rooms in a house are separated by doors. Just because you are in a house does not mean you will enjoy every provision in that house. You can be in the living room, but the door that leads to the kitchen is closed. And if it does not open when you are hungry, you will be in the house and be dying of hunger. The door to the restroom can be closed. When you are pressed and you need to ease yourself and that door is not open, it brings discomfort. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. I want you to bring all those that the power of God will rest on them now. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. Whilst you are seated. I want to make a declaration. This is not just for individuals. All these people are representing families. I'm seeing in the spirit. Families tied down by chains. Doors that have closed over them. This is what God is revealing to me. I want you to bring them out. Every family here. Not just, you are individuals, but you are representing families. No one has been able to go forward. There is an embargo that has sat upon families. In the name of Jesus Christ, I call upon El Shaddai. I call upon the warrior. Whilst you are seated, anyone here under territorial closed doors that have tied you down, tied your family down right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost, let it descend upon that family now. Let it descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Descend upon that family now. Bring them out. Descend upon that family now. In the name of Jesus. Descend upon that family now. My God. In the name of Jesus, he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder. Tied by witchcraft, tied by ancestry, tied by bloodline. In the name that is above all names, I say it again. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. Be delivered now. You and your family, be delivered now. Now hear me. The Lord is ministering to me that there are a number of you here an anointing is coming on you. It's a barrier breaking anointing. Something that has never been done in your family. You have seen it in your visions. You are the one ordained to do it. I don't know how many of those people are there but let that anointing rest on you now. Bring them out. The anointing of a savior. The anointing of a breaker. The anointing of a warrior. In the name of Jesus dimensions in the spirit that have never been crossed in your family may you cross it now levels of wealth that have never been attained by your family step into it now step into it now step into it now hallelujah listen when angel Gabriel came to Zechariah and said you will have a son Zechariah wanted to prophesy something else and he shut his lips and then when they were about to call him John they said no you can't call him John nobody from this lineage has ever carried that name John nobody from this lineage has ever been called prosperous nobody from this lineage has ever been called anointed 
Nobody from this lineage has ever been called a genuine Christian. Nobody from this lineage has ever crossed primary school, secondary school. Nobody from this lineage has even gone outside Nigeria. I stand by the anointing, by the God who sent me. Anyone here who has been tied down, pegged down, that you and your family cannot go forward. I prophesy to you, go forward now. 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 Alenda kapara sateke balako sabash. Rabada kapara kosiata. Go forward. Go forward in ministry. Go forward in ministry. Anointed but under closed heavens. Go forward. I release you. Go forward. Go forward in career. 10 years without promotion. 15 years without promotion. Go forward now. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I'm hearing in my spirit Jubilee. Let me tell you what Jubilee is. Jubilee is an exodus after many years of captivity. Please listen. Listen, we're praying. We're praying. There is the spirit of Laban. Is the spirit that never allows men to go. It will encourage you with something to keep you small. But it will never allow you go and have your own space. It's a spirit that fights increase. When Laban saw Rachel, he liked her. And he wanted to marry her. But Jacob knew that if he marries her, he will go away. And he trapped her down. He trapped him down. And the man kept serving. When it was time to carry his wife, they exchanged the wife for Leah. And the man stayed again many years. The spirit of Laban. You won't suffer, but you won't rise. That is the spirit of Laban. You won't beg, but you can't give. Because you are barely enough. I pray for you. Any house you have found yourself, physically and in the spirit, that is tying you down, not allowing you to rise to live destiny. Tonight, I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. I declare Jubilee. Be released to go forward. Be released to make progress. Be released to make progress. In the name of Jesus Christ. Many are going to receive an impartation of favor now. I just sense that fire on my hands. Father, as many who are tired of going around in circles and have not experienced favor, I stretch my hands. Receive this moment, the grace for favor. Receive this moment, the grace for favor. Let it rest on you. Paris Keparuta Siata. Receive this moment, the grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. Let it turn your life around. Let it turn your life around. In the name of Jesus. There are spirits that have tied men. There are spirits that have stopped destinies from going forward. They have not just attacked people because they are individuals. They have ravaged families. They have ravaged destinies. You can see their signature all over families. I'm about to make a decree right now. I see the fire of God just spreading everywhere. Whether inside or outside, as much as you can, I want you to bring those people here right now. You're not going to shout. I will speak. And then by the power of the Holy Spirit, <laughs> let it come to an end now. Let it come to an end now. Oppressions, causes, patterns that have tied destinies. I'm saying it again. Please bring them out. Let it come to an end now. By the fire of the Spirit of God, anyone here under the sound of my voice, you are a victim of household wickedness you are a victim of territorial spirits familiar spirits orchestrations of darkness tying you tying your loved ones 
right now be free be free be free be free be free be free i set you free by the power that raised christ from the dead i decree and declare be free right now be free for you and your children be free for you and your loved ones be free for you and your brothers and sisters be free in the name of jesus i'm seeing a word misfortune misfortune these are calamities that plague people you get up in the morning and something evil must happen by the time it is evening i pray for you i don't know who that person is but let the power of god wherever you are spirits causing misfortune aborting prophetic opportunities be set free now be set free now be set free now my god fire is burning in this place be set free now be set free now the plague of negative occurrences negative patterns around your life negative patterns it happened to grandfather it happened to father now it's happening to you in the name of jesus those patterns are broken now 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 in the name of jesus The spirit of delay tying people in one place my god fire is resting on people now delay over jobs delay over god's prophetic word you are going to shout jesus and as you shout that name anyone who has been a victim of delay your deliverance comes now are you ready one two three shout jesus Rakata pakata pas, rapa kapa rakato pates, rapa tapa tapa kapa rakatos. Delay, broken now, broken now. That cost broken now, broken now. Hallelujah. Now most of you are not will not believe that there are spirits that keep families poor. The issue of economic empowerment is not just the issue of products and services. It's not just the issue of intelligence and value. There are spirits, and I want to set you free. I'm ministering as God is placing it in my spirit. Are you ready to shout that name again? That name, the Bible says, for ye know the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, 2 Corinthians 8, 9, that though he was rich yet for your sake he became poor that ye through his poverty might become rich the first realm is, is riches unto righteousness but then it extends to every other area i'm praying for you any family here that have not had the opportunity to taste of the goodness of god to live a life of dignity and grace as you shout this name let those altars go down are you ready one two three shout jesus Spirits of lack and want and poverty. Lack and want and poverty. Lack and want and poverty. Be broken. Lack and want and poverty. Give way in the name of Jesus. Don't be tired of receiving no. Don't be tired of receiving. God is changing your life. Changing your life. Changing your life. I'm ministering deliverance. But many are going to receive an impartation of favor now. I just sense that fire on my hands. Father, as many who are tired of going around in circles and have not experienced favor, I stretch my hands. Receive this moment. The grace for favor. Receive this moment, 
the grace for favor. Let it rest on you. Paris Kebaruta Siata. Receive this moment. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. The grace for favor. Let it turn your life around. Let it turn your life around. In the name of Jesus. Favor. Favor. Someone who came here struggling. You have done everything you know to do. Whether you have a job or not, the difference does not show in your life. Whether you are in business or not, the difference does not show in your life. Whether you are helped or not, the difference does not show. Let this grace rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Rest upon you now. Are you ready to receive speed? Destiny is a function of time. And when Satan steals your time, he has taken a major part of your life. This one will come heavy on someone. There are two ways God gives us dominion over time I have taught you. Number one is called restoration. Number two is called speed. When God wants to show a man mercy, he brings both. Restoration means the events that should have happened in your yesterday are brought forward to manifest in your today. Speed is that God gives you capacity to do much within a little time. Are you ready to receive it? I pray for someone. Let me start with restoration. I don't know what you have lost through carelessness, what you have lost through lack of discernment, but I pray right now, let the grace for restoration rest on you restoration in your finances restoration in your marriage restoration in your relationships restoration over your spiritual life over your job receive restoration by the Spirit of God now are you ready for speed oh I believe in speed oh some of you will run like Elijah my God and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariots of Ahab down to Israel. I stretch my hands on a man of God. I stretch my hands over a business person. By God who has shown mercy, receive speed. Speed in ministry. Speed. Speed in business. Speed in career. Speed in your finances. In the name of Jesus, let me prophesy to you, become on time, manifest on time, acquire on time, conquer on time, receive the anointing on time, in the name of Jesus Christ. That everything that will not allow you to have dominion over time just help those under the anointing I'm praying it for you again by this grace for speed some of you God will take 10 years and put it in two months 10 years you believe it I'm speaking by the Spirit 10 years and put it in two years for you in one month for you grace that takes ordinary men and glorifies them and lifts them and praying for someone especially that your destiny and your assignment needs it let it rest on you now you will not have to be their age to rise to their level of influence I say to you you will not have to be their age to rise to their level of influence you will rise with the speed of Joseph you will rise with the speed of Daniel 
you will rise with the speed of Esther in the name of Jesus Christ the God that enthroned Joseph overnight the God that enthroned Daniel overnight the God that promoted Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego in Babylon the God that promoted a village girl called Hadassah that she became queen overnight the God that took Gideon a young man in hiding the God that took Ruth lost everything in her life and in one moment I'm praying for you there is governmental authority there is grace that enthrones men to be gatekeepers captains of industry leaders in their field I say it again may that grace rest upon you may it rest upon you a king maker anointing may it rest upon you for some of you it will be like a dream they will make you a director in your place of work I say it by the power that raised Christ from the dead it will be like a dream my God will exalt you it will be like a dream my God will surprise you it will be like a dream my God will lift you you will occupy strategic business positions strategic political positions strategic organizational positions strategic ministerial positions in the name of Jesus and hear me there are powers that fight influence I pray for you every power that wants to fight your relevance that it will be said you were once great yesterday and that greatness has diminished he said thou shall increase my greatness and comfort me on every side he said the Lord increase you more and more you and your children I speak it over you increase your influence will not go down your enemies will not see your back your enemies will not see your face their plans will end as vanity but as for you the Lord is your lifter he will lift your head he will give you speed no delay no retrogression go forward go forward go forward advance progress in destiny name of Jesus whatever has silenced your influence so that your voice will not be heard I call upon the God of my covenant may you be heard from today may you be heard from today let the ends of the earth hear you let the ends of the earth hear you my assignment tonight is to threaten that which keeps you down that has vowed that your voice will not be heard John said I am the voice of one crying he was heard when Jesus came he was heard one of the things they tried to do to the early apostles was to shut their voice so that they will not it's not only men businesses have voices ministries have voices you can be active and sincere but if that sound in the spirit is not heard your relevance will also die with you I say it again the spirit that is shutting your voice I came by the road of a higher priesthood in the name of Jesus that silence comes to an end everywhere your finance is for this season can I pray against the spirit of debt and borrowing in the name of Jesus anyone who is in a financial situation now I give you one month by prophecy may the God of all grace bring you out of it now every family that has not risen you have not seen the hand of God the testimony of God helping men from your father to your mother to your siblings to you every one of you in concert receives strange testimonies in the mighty name of Jesus the gift that the Lord has put within you I stir it up by the anointing and I declare may it bring you profiting 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 what you have been looking for I command it to start looking for you ah, 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 hear this one what you have been looking for may it start looking for you in the name of Jesus Christ every confusion in your life may the spirit of grace bring clarity to your life now everyone who is discouraged and downcast 
you are wondering what will become of your life i want to speak to you in the name of jesus you will have the last laugh in this life anyone under the sound of my voice appointed unto death i declare may death pass over you may death pass over you you are blessed in the city you are blessed in the country you are blessed in abuja blessed in lagos blessed in america blessed in the uk all over europe all over africa return as a sign and a wonder return as a testament of god's favor in the name of jesus now let me speak over your spiritual life everything attacking your prayer life attacking your word study life attacking your zeal and your passion for spiritual things it dies permanently right now may your prayer life be fanned back to flames may your word study life be fanned back to flames may your passion for the house of god be fanned back to flames may your appetite for spiritual things be fanned back to flames in the name of jesus christ listen i call you beulah and hefzibah beulah and hefzibah you are like a well watered garden i call you a wealthy place an oasis springing possibilities in the name of jesus you will not beg and you will not borrow yet you will not lack in the name of jesus these hands that are lifted remain lifted forever they will not go down the lord is your shepherd he will guide you in paths of righteousness he restores your soul in the name of jesus may the lord give you a new song you will sing a new song you will sing a new song you will sing a new song for someone god will take away sleep from your helpers like ahazaros and make them open the book of remembrance towards you in the name of jesus in the name of jesus whoever must come into your life for your rising wherever they are may they come speedily everywhere your job is may god locate you and take you there i am certain that the sermons you've embraced have been a wellspring of blessings lifting your life and igniting a profound commitment to wholeheartedly serve god we extend a heartfelt invitation for you to subscribe to our youtube channel ensuring you remain connected and never miss any upcoming videos by activating the notification bell your subscription transcends a mere click it symbolizes a dedication to continual spiritual growth, enlightenment, and empowerment. Embark on this faith-filled odyssey with us, as our channel strives to become a sanctuary for both spiritual seekers and steadfast believers. We staunchly believe in the transformative prowess of God's Word, and our objective is to disseminate messages that deeply resonate with the essence of your soul. Become a part of our community. Subscribe and let the radiant light of divine wisdom, your presence is integral to this uplifting journey, and may the abundant blessings of God overflow in every facet of your life. Amen. Stay connected with us across all our social media platforms at Flaming Channel, and explore more on our website at www.flamingchannel.com. Gratitude fills our hearts, and may God's abundant blessings continue to grace your life abundantly.